Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Douglas Habian, and in today's episode, we are going to be doing some more command line activity working with this Alpha External Network Adapter. I checked my YouTube channel today, and I am seeing that of all the videos that I have been doing, the ones that are getting some of the most activity, the most views, are the ones that have to do with the Alpha External Wi-Fi Adapter. So I'm going to do some more videos pertaining to that because clearly there is interest in that and that is why I'm doing another video on this today. I am going to get rid of the screen that I have here, the terminal emulator that I have open on the on the screen there and I'm going to start up a new one and let me increase the size of the font now I'm going to move through uh, these commands at a much faster pace than I have in previous videos if you have been watching the other ones then some of this is going to be review and if you are new to my channel and this is the first video that you've watched perhaps you want to go back and watch the other ones if this is um, going to be at a, a, a faster pace for you and if it's if it's too fast for you to follow along then go back and check out the other videos okay so as it stands right now the external wi-fi adapter is not plugged into the laptop you can see up here i have an x if i run if config we have no interface showing up if i run iw config we have no interface showing up if I run LS USB, this is what we have as of right now. There's no interface. There's no external Wi-Fi adapter plugged in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run sudo dmessage dash w. Hit enter. Now I'm going to plug in my alpha external Wi-Fi adapter, and we're hoping to see some output on the screen that lets us know the operating system is recognizing the adapter. And we are seeing information which is letting us know that it is. I'm going to control C that. Clear the screen. LS USB. And we see that our adapter is right here. It is connected to the USB port and it has uh, the identifiers. We are good. While I was doing that up here, I saw on the screen that it automatically connected to my network. So if I run IW config, we have the interface name and we see that it is in managed mode. If we run IF config, we also see that our interface is right here and we have our IP address. This is not my external IP address, this is just the internal IP address, so no need to send me anything in the comments saying I exposed my IP address. That is not, not the situation at all. Moving on. So we um, are connected to the network, but that's not what we want to do. We want to use the adapter to scan networks, etc., and we need to put it into monitor mode. There are numerous ways to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect from my network. That is the first thing. Now that I've disconnected, I am going to run sudo airmonng check. We have processes that will interfere if we put the card in the monitor mode, so we are going to kill those processes. So I'll run sudo airmon ng check kill. We've killed the processes. I'm going to run check one more time to make sure we have nothing. So we have killed the processes. Now I am going to put the um, adapter into monitor mode. I'm going to run sudo airmon ng start wlan0 the interface is now in monitor mode monitor mode has been enabled if i run iw config we see it's in monitor mode if i run if config we still have the name of the interface we can now do a scan so i can do sudo arrow dump followed by the name of my adapter which is still wlan0 and we are now scanning. All is well. 
I'm going to control C this. Okay, now those were the first set of commands that I went over in my first video talking about this. Then I made another video in which I showed you an alternative set of commands, which is actually the recommended way of um, interacting with the adapter. So with these commands, this is how this would work. I am in monitor mode. I'm going to go ahead and first go back into manage mode. So I'm going to do uh, airmon ng stop wlan0. Okay. So we're back at the beginning, except we did kill our, our, our processes already. But here's the second way of doing this. It's from the beginning. We would do sudo airmon ng check. We already killed them, so there's nothing here. But nonetheless, we would run check kill. We would run check again. Now, instead of going straight into uh, putting it into monitor mode using the sudo airmon ng command, this is how this, the alternative way would look. We would do. Uh, we would first bring the interface down. So we're going to run uh, sudo. Uh, IP link set WLAN zero down. Now we're going to put it into monitor mode. We're going to do sudo IW dev WLAN zero set type monitor. And then we're going to bring the interface back up. So it's going to be that top command again, sudo IP link set WLAN zero. But instead of down, we're going to say up. So we brought the interface down, we put it into monitor mode, and then we brought it back up again. Now if I run IWconfig, we see that it is in monitor mode. And I do a scan. You would not be able to do this scan if it was not in monitor mode. I'm going to control C it. Now I am going to reverse the process and I'm going to bring the interface back down again. And then I'm going to take it out of monitor mode and put it back into managed mode. So I'm reversing this process using the alternative set of commands here. I'm going to run sudo iw dev wlan0 set type managed. Then I'm going to bring the interface back up again. And now if I run iwconfig, here's our interface, and it is in managed mode. If I run ifconfig, there's the name of our interface. Now, if I try to ping an address on the internet, you're going to see that the network is unreachable. OK, I might use a command like nmtui because I'd like to do it from the command line. I could try to just go up here and reconnect to the network up here. Um, but instead, I'm going to use NMTUI. And when I run NMTUI, it doesn't open it up. And the reason why is because the network manager is not running. Why is it not running? It's not running because if you remember when we ran the sudo airmon ng check command, we were checking for processes that could interfere with the network adapter when we had it in monitor mode and we killed a couple processes. One of the processes that we killed was the network manager. So if we wanted to connect to the internet now using this adapter, we have to restart network manager. If I run sudo service uh, network manager status, you will see that it is enabled to start at reboot but it currently is not active because we killed it. So I'm just going to run sudo service network manager restart. That will restart network manager. And you see you got this pop up right here. Now if I run nm tui, I'm able to open up my Swedo command line tool to, to uh, activate connections and edit connections and so forth. And while I was doing this, you also saw, you may have saw up here that it did connect to 
the network. So now I am once again in managed mode and connected to a network using that same network interface and I have an IP address and I can ping 1.1.1.1 and the ICMP packets will make it to the destination and we have 100% packet loss. So let's do this again. I'm going to disconnect from the network. Come up here to the right. Disconnect. Now, I am going to bring the interface down. So I'm going to run sudo ip link set wlan0 down. Now I want to check the MAC address. So I'm going to run sudo MAC changer dash s followed by the name of the interface. That is going to show me that I have a permanent MAC address for my alpha external Wi-Fi adapter and then I have the current MAC address and in this situation it has been assigned a random address. If I want to give it a new random address I'll run sudo MAC changer dash r for random followed by the name of the interface and it will give it a new random MAC address. If you're going to change the MAC address of the adapter you have to bring the adapter down first. So you saw I brought it down then I change the name of the MAC address and then I'll bring the interface back up again. Clear the screen. IF config. Here's our interface. IW config. Here's our interface. Still in managed mode, but we just have randomized the MAC address. Um, so if we wanted to connect to the internet, we'd have a new random MAC address. Now I'm going to bring the interface down using the previous set of commands, which is sudo ifconfig wlan0 down. So if I run ifconfig, you will no longer see the interface. You will see it with iwconfig. So the interface is down. Now I want to change the MAC address, sudo MAC changer dash r wlan0. I've randomized the MAC address. If I want to give it a different MAC address, but instead of it being unknown, I want to give it a MAC address that belongs to a different device, I can first get a list of MAC addresses by running sudo MAC changer dash l for a list. I'm going to pipe it into less. This is a pagination utility. We can scroll through a very long list of various MAC addresses. I'm going to pick one of these MAC addresses at random. First thing that I see that I find interesting, I'll do the Xerox Corporation. I'm going to copy the first half um, of the MAC address, which is given to us right here. I'm going to press Q. Now I'm going to run MAC changer one more time with dash, dash H for help. And it says right here that we can use dash M to set the MAC address to a specific MAC address. So I'm going to run sudo MAC changer dash M. Give it the first half that I got from that list. And then I'm just going to make up something for the second half. So I'll do 01, 02, 03 and then supply it with the name of the interface, WLAN0. Now if I run sudo MAC changer dash S for show us the MAC address, WLAN0, you will see that it's now being identified as a Xerox Corporation printer of some sort. Now I'm going to bring the interface back up by doing sudo ifconfig WLAN0 up. IW config. There's our interface. It's still in manage mode. IF config. There is our interface. I want to connect to the network, NMTUI, and I will activate a connection uh, that would be over here on this side. 
that will be all for this episode. I hope you guys got some value out of that. I am Douglas Avian. Thank you for watching, and until next time.